Okay, welcome back. I'm gonna get these little ones out for a fly first, which are the six in here that have been sort of flapping around a bit. We'll get them out. Um, I just didn't get them out yesterday because the other ones just flew for so long and it just got too late. So I thought today it's these guys' turn, um, only because I've only got you know an hour by the time I get home from work to get these guys up. So they're doing all right. The other ones are flying really well, as you've seen in yesterday's video. Just need to get these guys a little bit more fluent um, because we've got another, I think there's 10 birds maybe coming on Friday and today is Wednesday. So you guys are gonna see these new birds, which um, I think some of you are gonna be pretty excited about. These are some quite nice birds. Um, so yeah, let's get these guys up and out and have a bit of a play and then we'll continue on because I've got a few other exciting things in this video to show you too. So let's get into it. All right, where are you going? Come on. Oh, he doesn't have no idea what he's doing, this one. Come on. It's really, really wild too, this one. All right, out you go. The others are flapping around. I can see them flying out there. Look at here comes one. So we'll shut this down. They'll come back in when they're ready. Um, and then we've got the four here that um, do need to go out shortly as well. I've been getting them in the trapping box too, which is really good. Uh, I'm pretty excited for these ones too. These are looking really good. Two nest mates. Um, we'll see how they go. These ones are eager to get out there too, but I, I need a couple more days in the trapping box. I'll get them out into that shortly. So those two are nest mates as well, and they're really eager to get out. Um, they are the last round out of uh, Rosetta and 8003. Oh, some start to come in already. Easy. The main goal for these ones at the moment is just to get them trapping, coming in and out quite fluently. And then um, I'll start getting them flying a little bit more. At the moment, they're just going from rooftop to rooftop. How are you guys going? Oh. And we've got the helicopter up here. We've got some bushfires again. It's this time of year, a couple more months, and we're, you know, a lot of bushfires to worry about. So you can see out the back there, a lot of fire smoke. Um, so yeah, I think we're all right. I think it's gonna get too much flowing this way just yet, but. Um, a bit noisy. I don't think the birds are too concerned about it because we do get a lot of helicopters flying across here like that every day. So, um, yeah, no one knows what it's doing. There is a couple more. Um, they're flying up over the roof there at the moment. Doesn't matter. Just having a bit of an explore. So that's cool. We'll get into the rest of the video and we'll see if we can get them back in later. All right, let's start off in here. I only just come in here before to have a quick look over everything. Um, and just give the little nest boxes a bit of a scrape. I try and get um, at least in around all these boxes scraped every day, especially when they're running babies. You know, work and pigeons and families, it's a lot to do. So um, you just do what you can do. And that's what we're trying to do. So we're gonna keep moving through this. I'll show you the best news at last, but we'll go through, we've got a few hatching, a few um, interesting colors that have sort of come up as well. So our little hen sitting on those two little chicks and actually looking quite healthy. Um, my only concern is that we'd get another messy and um, that didn't really you know show itself until a bit later on so fingers crossed that this last round that these babies do not turn out like that um, and then we'll split up this hen and 83 most likely because I do have one very very special pairing I have in mind to go with this hen after that um, which is um, our repairing for our one loft our first international one loft so she she's on the ball as long as those babies are healthy um, we, we, we can definitely look at moving um, that next project forward so definitely some bad news here she is really really good this and I like her she's a little character um, and a few of her babies made it all the way through the season last year they went all the way out they went all the tough races um, when she was paired up to shock so you know I do I just think that um, we had that one off where her egg shape was a little bit off. You can see it's dark. That's definitely not going to hatch. I am going to take this egg out, uh, most likely to, over the next few, probably today, um, and separate her and her partner. Um, I might most likely put her back in the flying loft because we loft fly her. Um, she loves it. She's a really good flyer. We may pair her back up. I do have one cock that I am going to gift to someone. Um, we're doing a bit of a trade. The person that's sending me all these birds, I'm going to send this bird to him, um, this special cockbird, which is 
well, we'll get into that shortly anyway um, over the next few videos but I was thinking about maybe pairing that cock up with this one and doing around before we send them because um, she's a beautiful little hen this one I do really like her I uh, just think that she needs to find that right cock bird for her so um, yeah I think that she might get one more round of babies out because um, the cock bird she's with I need that one for my one loft pairings so um, we'll get there we're just trying to tee some stuff up at the moment and this pair is going to stay together the, um, Mr. Kruger is sitting on the two eggs now um, I brought him in as a Kruger just to test see how it blends in with my birds um, we'll see how we go we've got some birds here we got two in the one loft in Melbourne um, they're still going fit and healthy and strong so we'll see how they go uh, that's what we're doing just bringing in a few different random birds and just seeing like I, a good bird is a good bird I don't really care anymore it can be short like, actually I'm not looking at short distance I'm more focused on middle to long distance birds. We do have a lot of middle and long distance birds here, actually. Um, we only really have a couple of sprint birds, believe it or not. Like short distance birds, we've only got a couple of them in here, which would be most likely this red checker up here um, and king. And we've, no, that's probably it, actually. The rest are a bit of a mix. Um, the best hen in there, not the best hen, that little blue bar pied hen we got, She's a bit of a mix because she's actually more Hermans than she is uh, Vandenbalk. So she's only a little bit Vandenbalk, but more. So yeah, interesting, interesting. So I'm sort of making that transition to birds that have got a bit more strength in them. Um, I'm hoping that um, that's going to do some good for us, you know, in, in one loss. But, you know, this is a transition we made earlier in the year when we started bringing in all these new birds so we'll see how we go we just need a bit more strength you know and hopefully then we can reduce our losses like we had a pretty good year this season well last year which is last season with racing we got some pretty good results but um i do really kind of want to work on reducing the amount of losses which is coming um, from the breeding side but equally as much from that um the training side and the care side as well uh, more so the training side i think that's the one area that i really need to work on this season um and we will we definitely already got those first batch of birds up and moving and um there will be a little bit different approach in our tossing this year come on and we will definitely go into that when we get um, to the tossing stage which realistically isn't too far away um we get this last round done get them up flying and then we'll start tossing which is um hopefully ready for that race season hey we're gonna get to you in a minute yeah, there's a bit of a surprise over the back there but what i want to do is check on this one apache's baby look how dark this thing is when this come out like the first few days this thing was like you would almost think it was going to be some kind of white pied but now it's like jet black which is very typical of storm and her babies they come out um this real real dark like you'd think they're just gonna be black babies so we'll see how this one turns out I've got some I don't know if I'll race this one I may just keep it aside for the time being like I've done with a few of her babies just see how it turns out because um, we do have a lot of um, race birds this year I've got plenty I've got like 60 or 70 which is enough for the eight races that I'm gonna try and focus on so uh, we'll definitely do what we can do hey buddy he doesn't want nothing to do with this but check out these little babies this is a stage i really really do like they start getting um, their colors their shape they start you know you can see a really good feel for their wings and stuff but, you know i just love the babies at this stage and the breeding's my favorite part but we do have the mealy and the big blue bar here the mealy is actually catching up really quickly um, in size before this here was a monster compared to this but they're getting there this one actually might overtake that one I'm not sure with the coloration, but I think the merely like a red hen to a blue cock is going to give us some blue hens, maybe. And then maybe some red cocks. We've all got heaps of red cocks so far. Oh, yeah, it didn't take you long to come over here, did it? You want to say hello to everyone? Yep. He's just checking on his baby. Good boy. Let's put you back over here. Come on. Yeah, good girl. She's a good girl too. I've just got a whole bunch of pigeons that I want to breed together, but I just don't have enough time for it. Like, she would go really well with him. Them two, I tell you. 
And a few of you people in the comments have said the same thing. Interesting. I think that can definitely be on the cards, that pairing. Continue on. We've got two babies in here. That's our little bluebell pied hen was talking about. Um, the last round of these babies are definitely the best that have ever come out of this hen in terms of handling and just their general character and things like that. They're super eager. Let's just get this hen out of here. She's a bit crazy. I just want to show you these guys quickly because their coloration is starting to come through quite a bit as well. And we're definitely getting a light checker and a darker checker. So really, really good to see. Um, we'll continue. We'll definitely split this pair up, but I'm going to utilize the cock a bit more. The hen, she needs to go back into the flying loft because um, I will race her later on this year. So uh, she needs to earn her keep. All right, let's get in here, have a quick look because there's some surprises in here too. Can hear all the other birds they're getting keen they want to go for a fly but probably won't happen um so oh he's crazy i've taken titan out he's into my um special holding area for the time being um i'm going to split him and that hen up she just didn't really want to lay so she was the last one and i you know those birds were going to be for a race team so um, my race team is pretty much done now all these babies that are in these nests are part of that um and that was just going to be that tad a bit too much so i thought you know what Let's just get it done because all the other ones are hatching. So both these ones are hatching. Um, she hadn't laid yet, so I was like, you know, what, let's just roll that one off. Um, these ones won't be too far away from hatching as well. I've noticed that since this weather's got really warm, the eggs are hatching a little bit earlier, which is quite interesting. They're kind of catching me off guard a little bit. But I, what I really want to look at is these guys here. Check this out. So I thought we might get a tiger grizzle and maybe a blue grizzle, but. From what I'm seeing here is we've actually got two blue grizzles, which it's that's what it looks like. You can see on the feathers here, all the way through, little specks of white, all that kind of stuff. Um, both very similar in the coloration anyway. So, you know, this could be pretty good, especially for Jason that loves watching these videos and he's a blue grizzle fan. So these could be right up your alley. And this one looks like um, it potentially could be a blue grizzle as well you can kind of see there's a lot of white coming through on it and it's very similar to this one here so it, at this point i'm saying two blue grizzles we might have a normal grizzle and we might have a blue tiger grizzle so i'm really hoping that we get one normal grizzle and one tiger grizzle so um yeah we'll see this is very very exciting because um i've never had two blue grizzles in the nest like that and um it's definitely looking that way so We'll follow these over the next few videos because by the weekend we are going to be able to tell what they are and it's um at this point a bit of a mystery i know there's some i know it's some kind of blue grizzle but um look at all these speedy blue grizzles we might actually get one for the race this year i'm i'm actually really excited i never i'm not a, never used to be a huge fan of these blue grizzles but after this one we got over here and how will he flies Oh, I'm getting pretty excited, so we'll, um, we'll see how that one goes. We've got some little eggshells here, and we've got some babies coming through there, which is good. We won't disturb them too much. We'll see them over the next few days. And we've got these ones. You can see the little chip hole there hatching as well. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Lots going on. More and more every day.